Warning, the Friday feed is not suitable for kids, adults, or anybody at all. This show sometimes contains subjects not suitable for the dinner table as we discuss our own personal feelings, experiences, and fleeting thoughts. Anything one says does not represent the opinions of everyone, nor does it mean anything. We highly recommend that nobody watches this show ever. So grab some pizza, sit back, relax, and turn this off now. Terms and conditions apply. And I said I don't even like homeless people. <laughs> no. Oh, we're gone. <laughs> I didn't know we were gone. That's bad. Oh, yeah, I have a... I have a like I want to follow up on last episode we did last week a whole week ago seven days ago on the dot actually seven about six days and twenty three hours and uh fucking forty six minutes ago uh you uh said that there's no way that someone would be touching themselves while watching the show out of a hundred and forty thousand people. Do you actually think that's true? Because I've thought about it a lot since <laughs> those six days. Uh, like, I think I just think wa- about how weird people are, man. I now, no I- offense. If someone, I, I feel bad now because maybe someone does watch the podcast. If you do watch the podcast touching yourself, that's okay. I actually don't think it's weird. I'm just saying people are do weirder stuff than that. So it's okay if you're doing that. But do you not think one person does that? I think I just want to believe they don't. Or to make yourself feel better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's fair enough. I'll, okay. So nobody touches themselves watching the <laughs> podcast. Nobody. But like, is that not like a compliment for you? Like if someone's like, but now Owen's switching over to me and they're like, oh, don't bring him back. It'll go back to the other, other guy. <laughs> or is that like. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Okay. Uh, over to the intro music. <laughs> Welcome back to... Let's th- thank you, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Stevie. What well, a wonderful music. Welcome back to Thank You, Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been me clapping for you the last while. We have a, a lack of Friday feeders for the last while. Uh, Haley is uh, moving house and doing doctor stuff. Uh, Hugh is moving... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was doing stuff as well. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's me and Stevie here for the time being. Um, do you wanna do you wanna try some incest, Stevie? Incest sticks. All right. Well, there's inc- something I'm saying. Yeah, incense. 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 I genuinely do always mix them up because uh, <laughs> one's one's fun and the other makes the room smell nice. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, last week after we finished the podcast. Uh, you were you and Owen were talking about a show about people who got not gotten naked or something. What was it called? Oh, Naked Attraction. Yeah, yeah. Naked Attractions. What what's the premise of that show? All right. So the premise of Naked Attraction is basically it's like it's a dating show. So someone comes onto and they want to meet someone like yeah. So that that person will be like fully clothed beside the presenter, and then there's like five kind of boots like that you can't see in. Okay. And they're like raise it so you can just see from the waist down first and then the person goes along and has to like and you can see their genitals yeah 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 like full nudity but like um so then yeah they'll like pick one person to like oh like i don't want them and then it, they're revealed and they leave mm. and the next stage it goes up to like here and again same thing again and then like it goes full way and they get to like ask them a question and stuff and then at the end uh when they, i think when they've narrowed it down to two I can't. Yeah, I think yeah. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, then the person who was choosing people goes and gets naked and comes back. Oh, so then then that person has to reveal themselves. Yeah, they, so they, the they, show, they still have the choice. Them like they're the only person with the choice, but they yeah they, they have uh, to reveal themselves at the end of it. Yeah. That is mad. That's like very intense, like Tinder or something. Like what? What is? Sh- I don't understand. Like is the person like so? Are, are they judging them completely off their bodies? Kind of, yeah, but like That's people, in, like in in general, like people are kind of like you know a lot of people on it are really bo- body positive, like you know it's like to, yeah. to be on a show like that, you kind of have to be like. Yeah, I think I think it's good. I that I think it's definitely helps people with their confidence in mm. other people's bodies. But it, it is like the weirdest part is the first stage, like first stage when it's like the, when it reveals just like penis, their genitals and, and like yeah. from genitals down, like because it's yeah. just like, pe- like I don't know, like people try to comment on like 
oh like this part is good and i like that and oh will they comment on like like the the penis and stuff like yeah that? yeah they'll they be go, like oh, i like the way it turns that way yeah they'll just say things like that it's just like it's really strange that is weird like I don't know, like, if you ever watch it, it's actually, it is actually a good show, to be fair. Like, I watched... No, I, 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 so I checked out clips after you were wa- yeah. talking about it, and it actually made me feel good about myself. I actually think my penis isn't as small as it thought <laughs> was. I was like, that kind of looks, a lot of them look, like, kind of average to mine, like, and I was like, oh, my God, there's all these different shapes and sizes, but I actually made me feel good. I was like, I was convinced my whole life I had, like, just the tiniest penis in the world, and then I might find out watching clips of that. <laughs> so I do think overall for society, the show is good, making insecure guys like myself feel better about themselves, like... It's weird. Um, but, but yeah, yeah it, it, is, is, a, it is a weirdly positive show. Like it's 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 really strange. Like the first time I watched it, because like I I heard about it through like I was watching Gogglebox. Yeah. And like on Gogglebox, that was one of the shows they were watching, and I was like, Man. this sounds mental. And then I it was on like the all four app or something. I was like yeah, sure, I watched this and. It's cool. Like how what's mad to me is that that's on telly though. Like because I've never seen a show reveal like even movies and shit like that. You can't. Like how did they get behind that? Um. Well, I think the rule is like you know, there's the watershed obviously at like nine o'clock. So after nine okay. o'clock, that's when like like swears don't have to be censored or like that kind of thing. Ah. But uh, I think the rule in general is I think it's not considered pornographic mm. if like just for for example like with a man if they're not erect. Yeah. That it's Wait, not considered that, pornographic. Like. <laughs> that's something I was wondering. The clips I watched, there was no erect guys. Is that like, do they ever get erect on it? <laughs> no, I've never seen that. Like I say, if, well, it, I, if it did happen, they'd probably just have to like edit it out. Or yeah, something, like, that's what I was thinking because there's no way. That's not how the fucking body works. Like, it, like random erection, like things. Ha- and you know, you don't have to be sexually attractive for blood to enter a, a specific part. Oh, yeah, it could just be completely random and yeah, like coming from a point of view of just like literally the awkwardness like oh man yeah like some oh yeah if someone gets erect that would be an awkward <laughs> yeah that would got it yeah that would be that would be interesting like but yeah because I, I see i was thinking about that like how like would it be awkward if you got an erection on it like and but you know what's even more awkward not the fact that it doesn't get on telly right i wouldn't mind that. i wouldn't mind mm. the world seeing my my erection i would a bit but but like it wouldn't be as bad as what would be worse to me is that everyone goes, whoa, stop the show, stop the show. <laughs> and you're in this room full of people like, stop the show, he, he's got an erection. Like, And everyone's like, oh yeah, he does, he does, stop the show. That would be horrible. Like, I, don't know. I would rather it just get aired on telly than I, fucking... See, I think for me, it's like, if it wasn't like aired on telly, like I'd have no yeah. issue being on a show like that. Like, I'd be like, yeah, grand, it's fine. Yeah, but for yeah. me, it, it is mostly the fact of like, yeah, you don't have control over who sees that then. Like, do you know, it's like, I don't yeah. want to be in a situation where it's like, someone related to me or something is watching is saying oh i started watching this tv show yeah yeah and like oh God. i'm naked on it like do you know, and you know like, your episode's coming up on friday yeah like do you know, and it's like, going to be at the communion family communion that you're at together or something yeah like so no one really wants to be in that that kind of situation yeah. like well or or like just like when i know you from somewhere yeah like just even like, just oh. like yeah like your friends yeah i think as well like yeah that that, that would be weird like i think i think that's why it's always really like kind of body positive people are kind of people who are somewhat confident about their body yeah. and stuff because like you know they know they really know that's a risk that they're like people they know are going to know what they look like naked so they have to not care about that yeah I, I, it's definitely free and like a part of me i i would definitely be nervous doing it but i think i don't think i would do it like if i had the opportunity mm. to do it i do it in a heartbeat just because like you've not and like that's it like you just like i would love like if you re- reveal yourself to the world like that like you just you've nothing to I don't know. I, th- I feel like there's such a freeing thing to it. I, w- mm. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. To me, that would be like parachuting or something. Like maybe Actually, The weirdest reason I saw someone not get picked, I was like, geez, I didn't expect that. That's actually, I just never would have thought of it. Uh, there was this, like a woman who like, she was really like, she said she was like really into like people being hygienic and stuff, which is fair enough. It's normal. Thing. Yeah. It's but like, not a bad trait. But like she was saying she hates uh belly button fluff. So she oh. got like a cotton swab and like, like, swabbed their belly buttons and one guy like fluff came out and she's like oh well you clearly haven't showered and stuff like and it was like he he was the one got sent home like it was like he, oh she like like i under i understand the logic of it but like he just went up with him with, well, well me and her want me that and i'm not that hygienic like she's coming at you with swabs like just like a cat's like just mad. to see if there was fluff in the belly button like from t-shirts and, stuff. and you like, know what like if if that was uh, like uh, I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I'm compassionate. If 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 a, if that was a thing with a girl, I I would go. You know what? Fair enough. That's your thing. Like let's do it. 
But if it started happening every <laughs> night before you get into bed, like you're doing an inspection, with, uh, like no, I think it, I think it was just like for extra entertainment on, oh, on the okay, show. Like, right. you know, like I think the host was like, "Oh, we can try, we can do this," and she's like, "Yeah, sure, like that's you know, but like, mad. but it's not what we expect to see on telly." Like. Yeah, <laughs> that's mad. You'd wonder, like, that's what I mean. People do be at you just. It's not even say weird like when people do be at things that you didn't know they'd be at kind of thing. No. <laughs> the, world, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, world, the world's a, a, f- a funny place like that. Um, yeah, what I was going to say about, uh, yeah, I was thinking like, why did I see all over the internet? Like I see that I seen this on Tinder a while back and I seen this on even on people's Instagram, a girl's Instagram bios and stuff like that saying looking for a toxic relationship. So like there's a thing now where it's it's like people are 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 um searching for this. Is this healthy? Would you say? Or I would imagine that's a joke. Oh oh <laughs> oh like, shit! I kept swiping left. I was like, no, I'm not <laughs> doing that. No, I I just imagine that it's just like you know just then take, okay, taking shit. the piss and like be, being ironic and saying yeah I'm looking for like the exact yeah, thing yeah. that like a lot of these dating things uh, give people like. Okay. Yeah, I, I could be wrong. Like maybe there probably is some people out there who like you know. Yeah. How 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 do you feel about like dating apps and stuff like? What's your um, I'm kind of I think it's fairly positive. Like I remember when I first would I like use Tinder, like because mm. I'd always hear people talking about like matching with people, like, meeting people and stuff. I'm like oh yeah, this sounds cool. But then like I remember like the sheer drop in confidence when it how long it took for me to get matches on Tinder. Like it was like oh, really like not so matching with someone for like the first month and you're just like, oh yeah. and then like but then I started matching with people and to be fair, I actually made more friends than yeah. actual like meeting people. Mm. That's cool actually. Yeah. But you know what's mad about that as well is that like it mightn't even like you could be the best looking person in the world and it might just be an algorithm thing and then you go like that fucks mm. up someone's confidence based on that fucking program. Like it's fucking, yeah. I don't know. I I feel I'm I'm, I'm indifferent about about the apps. Like like when I was using it, I wouldn't. Um, I felt I literally couldn't swipe. I like I was joking about swiping left because I haven't swiped left on anyone. Like even if I like even if they were saying some mad shit in their bio that I was like no way. Like I just felt like really weird. Like because you see a person's face in front of me, I was like. I don't know. I couldn't get over like this is a human being, and I'm going to like what like what does saying no mean? Like I, that that mm. was why I was getting too caught up in like am I might like saying no to the existence of this person. Like that's what I felt like in my head. I was like because like I, I don't know that I don't know. I find I find that part difficult. But on the other hand, I'm definitely not someone against the apps. I I have friends who met people mm. on them and they are in love, and I believe that is a really cool way for people to meet and stuff like that. So yeah, especially for know. like introverted people, like, because you know, yeah. there's always that thing of like, like people will say like, oh, don't use a dating app, like just go to a nightclub. But like, I'm not a person who likes nightclubs. Yeah, me neither. So if I meet someone in a nightclub, yeah. that's someone who probably enjoys nightclubs. Yeah. So then stra- <laughs> straight away you have like that's a roadblock in your relationship of like, this is yeah. something you want to do that I don't want to do. Do you know It's like? Yeah. It's like, a lot of introverted uh, hobbies, like you can't, you, like a lot of them yeah. are like things you do by yourself. Like it's like, do you know, it's like, so it's like you can't necessarily meet people through it, like unless you're part mm. of like online communities, which is you know like if you meet someone through an online community, that's yeah, yeah, pretty much the same as meeting someone through Tinder, like. Yeah, that is really true, actually. Yeah, I de- I definitely think there is. A, I don't know. I for me personally, I'm indifferent. It's like fifty fifty, but but I think in general, outside of my own weird fucking co- like hang ups in my head about like external philosophies and what's right or wrong mm. um i think it's generally a good thing for society uh, to have those platforms to to be able to do that like yeah yeah mm. as you said for people who are introverted um because yeah I, I don't think I, I i would definitely be more likely to meet the person based on my personality uh on the internet than i would fucking in a in hazes yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest um and i do like nightclubs but i don't like i like i like nightclubs but i wouldn't want to meet i the mm. person who love my life in a nightclub but i think like I when, like using dating apps well, it's kind of like it's about like kind of like how you think about it as well as in like mm. if, like i think yeah it can it can be a toxic thing if you're going like i need to find my soulmate and this is the only way i can and you're putting so much pressure on yeah. that app and you're kind of you know, you're living off the serotonin highs of like, I've mastered someone, this could be my soulmate. And like, if you get really caught up in that, mm. then yeah, it's going to be really toxic for you. Like, but it's like, if you're using it just as a tool to like, yeah. 
to, to help you. Yeah, it was like, oh yeah, I could meet someone. Like this. I, but if you don't yeah. like, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like it's like that's true. That's a really good way. So of th- that. Yeah. So I think if it's like if you use it as a tool, it's definitely really healthy and a great way to meet people. But like, it's like with any social media or any other thing. Like if you if you use it like kind of in moderation or use it kind of yeah if you're aware of like what the risks are of like how it can affect your mental health mm. going into it then it's easier to avoid that it's the same on instagram like getting caught in mm. like fucking feedback loops and any social media like and what what is it though that's like unethical or, or maybe rare or unseen obviously if these like weirdo guys all the time who are going to contradict what i say like these weirdos just messaging random people like fucking mm. ran- random girls like weird messages or well guys as well i've got i've got uh on uh unsolicited messages from guys in the past as well like mm. so they mo- like they're rampant these some of these <laughs> lads like they're fucking sending their pictures everywhere like what the fuck man uh but so <coughs> i can't imagine like the amount that girls get but what is it like is that why you know people don't message each other on instagram like why does tinder exist if there's already these platforms for people to connect is it because um, i don't know see they kind of look at it as well as like because i've always looked at it like point of view of kind of uh like kind of like it comes from consent so like if right if just oh, okay the way i look at it is like if if like if i was single and just because i, f- I follow someone on instagram and they're yeah. active on instagram yeah that doesn't mean they're <laughs> looking to date yeah, you know, yeah that doesn't yeah, mean yeah. that they want someone going hey how are you and they're in their dms yeah. and stuff whereas if you're on tinder yeah you know the person is looking for like you know at least a friendship like they're at least looking yeah. to meet people so then you can feel more comfortable engaging in conversation because you know all right this person actually wants to talk to people whereas like you know, I could be online on Instagram, but like that doesn't yeah. mean I want people like messaging me. Like I just yeah, want, like, you know, yeah. I could be like, oh fuck off, I just want to scroll. Like yeah, I want to use this for art. Yeah, it's like it. you know, it's like it's same way. Like you know, if you're like mm. reading a book or something, and someone came up and started flirting with you, you might just be like, oh god, Jesus, go away. Like which yeah, if so. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, right. You're sitting in the park. You're reading my cement. Do you read my cement? No. Uh, is it, oh, sorry, uh, do you ever read Charlotte's Web? No. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Okay, so you're in the park reading Charlotte's Web. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, someone comes up to you and goes, hey. Wait, wait, I don't know. They say, they're very straightforward. They go, hey, I'd like to flirt with you. What? Like, that's what they say exactly. That they say, hey, I would like to flirt with you now. What, what, what's like? <laughs> Tell me what happens next for you inside like your in, head. In this, in this scenario, I'm single, like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I probably like say I'm. I'm I my I personally am too awkward. I probably would just kind of chat. Wait, if Megan, so your girlfriend now, because if she, if she, if that's how she came up, to, like if Megan first came up to you and said, "You were reading Charlie's Web," and she said, "Hey, I would like to flirt with you." See, yeah, I probably see. I probably be okay with that, but like, yeah. just you know, just because I am doesn't mean everyone is. So I think. Yeah, I I I feel like it, if it's that straightforward, I'd be like, "Well, this that's cool." <laughs> I'll put I, think, I think a lot of the time as well, it's, it's like the way people react after that. Is that like, so it's like, you know, if, if someone like did go, hey, how are you? And they're like, oh, sorry, I just want to read my book. And yeah. they're like, oh, no problem. And they leave. Do you know, it's slightly annoying, but like, you know, it's like, it's not the worst. Whereas if they're like, oh, fuck's sake, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is what, like, you know, you, the, mm. the, the usual responses you see online when like that happens, are, like guys trying to talk to girls and like, yeah. the girl is just like, no, I'm not interested. Like, perfectly valid thing to say and then he's like oh this is why you'll never find a nice guy like me blah blah and a big fucking essay back about that's like bad, isn't it like, you know this is like this weird fragile ego thing of just like yeah why like uh, i think like, do, do you remember i think of like when people like it used to have it still happens like online as well but like someone would be like oh well you shift my friend and it's like and someone says no and it's like oh well you're ugly anyway it's like well you were interested <laughs> like you can't just say like oh i'm interested in you but you're ugly like it's just like it's it's this weird defense mechanism that's a lot of mad. yeah why Wait, guys, definitely. Do. I don't think I've ever seen a case of a of a girl doing that personally. I'm sure it happens, but uh, oh, it definitely happens. But with girls, but definitely, it's, yeah, it's definitely, it is definitely more one. I, I feel like guys are like, even though it's like like the stereotype is like, oh, girls are more emotional, but. Well, if they are, then that's even, if that's true, well, then fucking hell, that's amazing because <laughs> being emotions is a hard thing, isn't, having emotions isn't the hardest thing, it's being able to control them. Obviously, girls are doing a much better job of controlling their emotions. Like, I've never got a big essay off a girl, for, you know, some shit like that. Like, yeah, but, yeah. You know, so I'd say, like, girls are, guys and girls are equally emotional, but girls do a better job, in most cases, not all cases. In what, from what I've seen anyway, of controlling them and not like, yeah, saying, oh, well, you're ugly anyway. That's such a bizarre thing. Yeah, it's there. just, I, I, I don't under, understand it at all. Like. Yeah, and it's mad because that is hurtful for fucking, like, 
people to read like and it's like mm. i don't know yeah what like i feel i'd love to know my whole thing that though as well is like to not condemn it like mm. you know this I, I don't think the solution to any problem in the world is ever condemnation so it's like why are guys like that like why mm. is it because i don't know like like what's the root of that problem is it just society in general or i don't know what the root would be necessarily for guys but i know like one thing i think that a lot of people well i think where like where some of that toxicity comes or some of that response comes from is like do you ever hear like the term like parasocial relationship no a parasocial relationship would be like right do you have like a favorite youtuber like someone you watch uh, a few yeah yeah so you'll feel like you have a relationship with that youtuber yeah yeah but they don't have a fucking clue who you are yeah right yeah. so like i think that happens a lot oh. then on social media where like a guy like is following like a girl and like in all her posts mm -hmm. and like in his head he's built it up like oh like you know we know each other and That's then he and then he like message her and like she'd be like fuck off because this is like the fucking 50th guy who's messaged her today that like crazy that and like when he's like oh you don't have two minutes to talk to me and i all, all i do for you and he just responds really toxically like and it's like mm. but like obviously that's not her issue at all like it's it's completely his issue but i think part of it does come from that of like they've built the idea in their head that they're closer to this person than they actually even are that's mad and like obviously yeah, that, that, that that comes from their own separate things like maybe like you know like maybe they yeah, didn't hold no one off as a kid like you yeah. know it could be or not having things. someone even in their like where they're like holding yeah where they like i'd say and you do see a lot of the time where often those guys are people who are like introverted and may may have not been um i don't know whether it's because they were fucking on on like wrongfully hurt when they were younger by mm. society and stuff like that it makes them go in so that's where i'd have yeah. compassion for on that oh yeah it's like, it, but it's like it's it's that the whole thing is out of like it's like even though we're saying this, it's like it's not an excuse. It's just no, like it's, it's, an, it's an expl it's like an explanation of yeah. why that might one of their things that might yeah. lead to that happening. But like it's still and even, and even it doesn't mean that guy's not a fault. Yeah. He's still being a fucking dickhead. But like. oh, definitely, yeah. And even an explanation is like meaningless to me. Like yeah. what's in that door to me is the potentiality to use that the next to uh, the potentiality to to um, stop the next wave of. Uh, future men doing that shit like do you know what i mean so yeah. well I, i'm always talking about this stuff and like it comes across like oh like i'm never trying to fucking make excuses my that's my whole thing is like my reason for not condemning uh people for what they do is not because i'm going just love them and you know everyone mm. deserves love it's because w when you don't condemn like you you have the potential to to figure out how to prevent this thing from happening next time that's all i care about is like how do we like how do we honestly admit this is a problem and then do something about it because i think we're all yeah. aware these sort of things are problems and then no one but like it's because the things are so hurtful that it can be hard and scary for mm. you know especially like like girls to go and, and look deeper into it and that's where i'd understand it like if i was a mm. girl i probably wouldn't be saying this but as a guy i feel like they're you know apparently one of my favorite quotes is when you see a problem in the world it's you then become obliged to do something about it. so that to me is mm. a problem so it's like how do we prevent that like and you know is it a thing where you teach emotions in school to guys and girls and i don't know i think there is solution. Uh, yeah education is definitely the the kind of way to mm. go like but it, it is mad like i remember like there's certain times where i've kind of noticed like the the difference between like da dating for like men and women like i remember one that really stood out for me was like i started talking to a girl online and we met up and yeah. like, first time we met up like it was just literally just i just like m like met her in her car and we sat there and chatted yeah and like you know, as, as the conversation just got more comfortable and stuff, and she like she was like, okay, like you seem fine and stuff. She just kind of kind of confessed to me that she'd actually brought like there was like a knife in the pocket of her car, yeah, or like so I can't think it was like some kind of weapon in it, just because she was like, look, I just I didn't like don't take offense, I just didn't know if you were mm. going to be like a fucking creep or not. And like I remember when that happened, I was just kind of I already knew mad, like yeah. you know dating for a woman was like scarier, but that's but like mad. when you're presented with that and you're like yeah yeah. Jesus, like, and I, just, I fully understood. Like, I was just like, Jesus, no, don't worry about it. Like, it's like, yeah. I'm kind of happy that, like, you know, I'm happy that she had that precaution there, but I'm also sad that she had to take that precaution. Yeah. Do you know, like, in an ideal world, yeah. you know, guys just wouldn't be, <laughs> like... And, ho and, you know, I think things... Uh, yeah, I do think there's, you know, those conversations and stuff are good. I think things can change um, with that, but I hope they don't change too much, that these girls put in, oh, I'm looking for it toxic relationship like i didn't know i messaged one girl like saying i i was saying what do you want me to do like slam doors and get mad and shit and she was just like yeah so i was like okay is she messing i was like i don't know <laughs> i did i was just like because i thought i was a, you know, with a joke or whatever but yeah. 
you know, I think like if that, if the more tin or more Instagram bios are looking for a toxic relationship, then I, I think I'm going to have to start bringing a knife or something. I feel like, you know, <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't change too much, you know? No, I definitely, balance. I definitely say it's a joke. Like. Okay. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's just uh, completely ironic. Like. Yeah, I know it probably is. But there are so many people out. I mean, I ha- people love toxic relationships as well. Like, uh, I don't know. It's a, oh, yeah. Like, it's the, a big thing. The, the thing people always say, like, if, mm. if one person in the world has a kink for something or an interest in something, there's at least one other person for them that yeah. <laughs> has the same thing. Like, no matter how fucking weird it is. Like. I know. It's, that's why I'm saying, man. There's plenty of people touching themselves right now watching this podcast. <laughs> and for those who are. Let's breathe in. <laughs> you <know>? <laughs> <laughs> so For those who are, please wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're touching yourself watching this podcast right now, which one of you are, and that's okay. Do you want to go to Stevie when I'm talking about this? Okay. <laughs> if someone is touching themselves <laughs> right now, <laughs> stop it because Stevie doesn't like it. No. Um, <laughs> right. Well, we finish up now. Our guest should be here in a few minutes. And um, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> do you want that is to add? No. So y- Bye. Do you not think the people <laughs> deserve something? No. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>